so I'm just going to narrate for you what I'm doing here today and um, some thoughts about Rebecca in Korea. Um, <laughs> first of all, I really love, <laughs> I really love Okjeon. She is my favorite. She is such an amazing Danny. Um, if you have the chance to go see her once ever in your life, sh you should. Okay, buy multiple tickets. Um, uh, the last time I saw her, uh, like in person, in person, was actually last last year in oh 2020. Yeah, the 2020 production of Rebecca. Um, man, I miss her so much. But uh, anyways. Uh, the 2021 2022 production just finished and um, it was definitely interesting uh, just seeing the coverage um, and seeing what people were saying I've been really really enjoying all the curtain call uh, videos and photos they're amazing um, thank you to all the photographers who went thank you thank you thank you you are feeding me right now um, <laughs> anyways um, I was like kind of really missing Rebecca so I decided to do this kind of series it didn't uh, mean to turn out as a series um, at first like here I was just sketching you know like I hadn't done art in like basically five months that was like personal I guess I didn't have any thoughts <laughs> no thoughts head empty whilst I was uh, doing uh, my sketching but I don't know this came out so I guess I'm happy with it um, <laughs> oh speaking about the Rebecca in this uh, picture you might already know who it is but um, in my head in my uh, <laughs> my deranged head um, I think of uh, Cho Jong-un as a face claim for Rebecca I think she's such a great actress she's so good and like oh <laughs> I would like even though Rebecca never appears in Rebecca um, I just wanna like one time one time someone do something I just want to see um, <laughs> Johnny like push around her on the a bit you know what I mean <laughs> anyways um, I think uh, Cho Jung Un is really great. I l that's kind of part of the reason why I really love uh, Park Ji Yeon. She's like, oh, I can't. Mm, I don't want to say she's my favorite, but she's up there um, in terms of my favorite ex or the new Mrs. De Winters. And um, I think what makes a really good ex is like her potential to be Rebecca but in the same way that like she has awareness that she could be Rebecca but chooses not to I think that's like a really important kind of dichotomy uh, within the ich character and so I really um, love that kind of uh, interpretation I guess within uh, Park ji Yeon's ich and um, in that regard a person who I think is very similar as an actor um, is Cho Jong Un, and I just love Cho Jong Un. She's so, oh, she's so amazing. Like ten out of ten. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm almost done with this painting, I guess. Just doing the background. I actually didn't know what to do with the background. I was struggling. Um, but I ended up with this, so <laughs> I hope it's okay. Especially in this one, I really love um, Okjeon's uh, like interpretation of the love between Rebecca and Danny, <laughs> and I really love the brooch. Like I love it. Like every time I see her touch her brooch, I'm just like clutching my heart because it's. Uh, it's so full of love and like I just it gives me a lot of emotion I just realized I should probably explain some of my process yeah so I usually start off with a sketch um, sometimes it's really aimless until I find uh, what I'm doing so I don't usually record or most of the time I forget to record and then I start line art and line art is the biggest part of 
doing my process because it takes forever to do i'm so envious of people who do lineless art like what how are you doing that i really would like to know and then i get to rendering and actually i learned this um trick from online somewhere i don't remember who it was specifically but they said to get a um, reference picture of a artwork or a photograph that you like the colors of and then um, you know just color pick from that palette and and because it's already a really well composed artwork or photograph reference um, you're absolutely going to be okay in the color department throughout the uh, speed paint you will see these reference uh, photos pop up and it's just um, what I use to pick out the colors to use in my art and that's how I get really nice colors mm, yeah and then my final uh, is just adding a lot of glitter everywhere just absolutely everywhere I love <laughs> sparkles so much it's just it makes it ties the whole piece together honestly so here's the next one okay so oh my god i was also rereading um the rebecca novel by daphne du and i just love like the passages leading up to the ball and uh not the ball uh the confrontation between mrs danvers and um the new mrs de winter after the whole costume shenanigan um i it's so juicy it's so juicy like it really reveals so much about both of their characters um and something uh, it's just so and i love to imagine this drawing is basically like um her thinking about what rebecca looked that um last year when she came down in that dress um and how it must feel to see the new mrs de winter come down in that dress like um uh, there's this uh i don't know if you <laughs> um sorry to plug my writing blog but um I translated a interview sort of with her fan club she did back in for the 2017 production and in it she mentions like um, when that part where uh, she's like saying oh you should wear that dress um, that uh, the lady the winter portrait dress to ich. and she says that um, for a split second that Oh, I'm talking about Okjeon, by the way. <laughs> um, she says for a moment um, that her Danny feel is like remembering that memory of um, Rebecca in that dress, and for like for a moment, it's not just about um, with Ich, you know. Um, and so, like you know, you just kind of keep following that thread and I like wonder if um, Miss uh, Okjuhan ever <laughs> thought about her Danny dancing with Rebecca like I think it would be so beautiful you know um, just the two of them dancing <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah so uh, there was also another part where it was like in the interview the 27th interview where she was like oh they did everything together um whatever rebecca knows how to do danny can do it too and like she would uh, rebecca would have had to learn how to ballroom dance right so who else who else would she have practiced with you know um <laughs> i think it's like those really sweet moments um and just like in general that the way that Okjuhan thinks about those small moments um, and brings it into her role is just really beautiful. I really, really admire her for doing that. And just like, you know, in general, for like um, having the bravery, I suppose, to, um, you know, uh, act <laughs> in the way that she does on stage regarding um mrs danvers sexuality i think it's 
especially back in 2013 um like it's fair to say that korea is a bit conservative um in that regard and like you know she could have lost her job <laughs> um but i do think that some of it was offset because like m mrs danvers is the villain you know um but she put so much um uh sympathy and effort into her um interpretation that it's really like you feel for her you feel sympathetic for her and um it's really amazing just like to kind of have that shamelessness to continue to enforce it in her interviews um in her performance in her fan interactions on her social media it's really really amazing to just see that um i feel very seen <laughs> um this last drawing is them in the sea um sleeping because uh, i feel like mrs danvers and rebecca should just should have a quiet ending you know i think they deserve that at least mrs danvers deserves that um oh you know what else pisses me off because like okay so i always wondered why mrs danvers doesn't go into the sea um why does she burn manderly and like some of his like gothic sensibility and like literature and that's how you do it and like i also did another <laughs> um or a blog post about it and i figured it out but anyway that's beside the point um i can't believe that the 2020 remake with cannibal army hammer and I don't even remember her name, but it's like two names. <laughs> they did it. Like, they addressed that, like, thematic connection. And I can't believe it to do that in the sh I don't even know. Is it an adaption? Because it's really not. It's just a remake of the Hitchcock film. And honestly, I'm about to say something very inflammatory, but... Hitchcock sucks. Hit Rebecca 1940 something whatever sucks. I'm so sorry. I said it. I said it, but it's better than the 2020 movie whatever the fuck that was. So <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, um hope y'all enjoyed this speed paint. Uh hopefully you will see more well you'll hear more of my voices i hope i can make some more speed paints um please like and subscribe <laughs> uh leave a comment down below which um which artwork you like the most and um who is your favorite ish <laughs> i won't do danny's because i'm too <laughs> too biased <laughs> but yeah have fun everybody bye